Hi guys, it's me, Malcolm, the mass detective himself. And on this Wednesday, today will be, oh, my bad. On this Wednesday will be the last episode for the mass singer for season five. But don't worry. Or Fox just confirmed they just renewed it for season six. So I hope you're all ready for the next season. But before that, so far we got three, three mass singers for the finals. The Piglet, the Chameleon, and my personal favorite, the Black Swan. Yes, I'm rooting for her. She is an amazing singer. I just absolutely love it. She succeeded where the first white swan did. I just love it, though. So, in honor of, of the top three, for my new video, I will be doing my top five male mass singers. Yeah, for this list, there are so many mass singers that are all portrayed by men, you know? I mean, we got so many to count. Oh, I didn't know uh, who would be in my top five, but I know who they are. So let's get started, shall we? Number five, the Russian doll or Russian dolls. Remember the words you told me, love me till the day I die. Yes, I love the Russian dolls. They were amazing. At first, I thought there would be a woman or women for being under those dolls, but it turns out they were men. <sighs> but sometimes they do sound like sound like women. <laughs> I just love the songs they choose, like Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. Um... Um, Shallow by Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. And of course, I'm Still Standing by Elton John. They did terrific songs. But I was shocked how they they were kicked off in the Mad Singers too soon around the feisty, around the feisty five. Dang. I was so rooting for those guys, guys like I was rooting for not only the black swan, but also the yeti, who was, who was, who was also kicked out as well. But I was shocked that the Russian dolls were handsome. I knew it was those three boys. You know, it they were kind of confusing when all four of them, sh four of those dolls showed up on. On one stage. Turns out I think the big one was just for show or a decoy. Okay guys number four the serpent. Yes the serpent I just admire the way it looked. It did look creepy when it had tails around around its body. <sighs> That was creepy, though. But I really do admire how he sings like an angel. He, I was sh blown away when he, when he sang 500 Miles by the Proclaimers. That was one of my favorite performance of the serpent. Oh. I, he, he was one of my favorites going to win. But I was shocked how he was kicked out. And turns out, to be Dr. Elvis Francois, the singing surgeon who who was one of the doctors who were fighting this virus. Lord, what are the odds he would be so famous in this show? He made mask history right there. Hands down. Okay, okay, number three, the peacock. 
oh, the peacock was one of my favorites in season one. I really do admire how he, how he sang, sang the greatest show from the greatest showman, and I really do like it how he posed every performance. That is great showmanship right there. Oh my God. I he was close. He was the first runner up after the monster won. But I was amazed that the peacock was really Do Donny Osmond. <laughs> I effing knew it was him though. I must say, say he was awesome in that show. Okay, you guys. Number two was was very unexpected considering the way way it way he looks. It's the leopard. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's the leopard. As like the Russian doll, I really thought the leopard was really a woman. How the way she looks, how she looks like looks like the Queen of England. But turns out when we first heard her singing, it was a man. Lord. I really did admire that. <laughs> they really pulled pulled us off. Sometimes this show liked this show liked to play games with us. I really do admire the leper's performance. I love it how the way he sang, right? like Teenage Dream by Katy Perry, Stitches by Shawn Mendes. Oh, he did ama amazing good songs. But I was so disappointed how he was kick kicked out in the Christmas episode. <laughs> but at least we all get to see him under the mask. Turns out it was none other than Seal, the famous British singer who who sang Kiss from a Rose from Batman Forever and was married to Heidi Klump. Oh, my God, Seal. <laughs> you were, oh, he was awesome in that show. <laughs> Okay, guys, before I go to my number one pick, here are my honorable mentions. It's gonna be me. All that I do is not enough for you. I don't wanna lose it, but I'm not like that. When finally, finally, you get to love. Okay, so here is number one, who is the most awesome, who did an awesome performance and never failed after each performance, The Monster. I'm a monster, I'm a monster, I'm a monster. Yes, The Monster. The Monster was this big fuzzy creature with one eye and it looked like straight out of Sesame Street. I really do admire the monster. I really do love it how he changed his outfits, outfits for each performance. That was awesome. Mine was definitely the black jacket he wore. <laughs> I really did like it. Like each and every <laughs> Every song choice he did, oh. and I'm so amazed that he's that he won won the Mass Singer in season one, and it turns out he revealed himself to be T Pain. O M G. Hey baby girl, what you doing tonight? I wanna see what you got in store. The odds that that rapper would do some incredible good songs and win. I gotta give T Pain some cred some credit. He he was aw 
It was so cool. Okay, you guys. That's my top five mask, I mean, male mask singers. Uh, so, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and be sure you all stay safe, stay healthy, wear a mask, and don't forget to see the final season for, I mean, the season finale for, for The Masked Singer this Wednesday. Bye!